Welcome to another video, you guys. I'm so excited. This is my first ever closet tour. So huge disclaimer, guys. My room is never usually this perfect and I specially tidied it up for this little closet tour. I am moving out the end of this month. That's why I thought this would be a really nice memory and I hope you guys enjoy the video. My wardrobe represents my style over the past few years and right now I'm really into a lot of color and textures such as tweed to tulle or leather to lace. First up, we have my shoes. Let's start off with casual footwear first. I always like to opt for comfy and chic and these Hermes mules are the best. I have quite a lot of them. Also, I have walked the whole of Paris in these Chanel loafers. They are actually pretty comfortable too. For date nights, I always want to be a little bit more romantic. So I would go for these Chanel heels with the iconic camellia flower. I've been attending a lot of galas and balls. And for those, I have been wearing these gorgeous Valentino pumps with this amazing platform. I love the height. And also these are very special because they were bespoke for my wedding by Giuseppe. Little fun fact, I've had some of these for over 11 years and I had them during my first ever lookbook days. That's actually how I started. Um, and I'm really excited to be able to share all of this with my daughter one day. So I hope she enjoys them as much as I did. I've taken really good care of them and I keep all of them in pristine condition, as you can tell. So my love for Hermes also translates into collecting some of their iconic boots. These jumping boots are actually equestrian inspired, but I love to bring them on my travels. So for these, I actually brought them to Tokyo with my baby Ava. That was our first trip ever together. That was really nice. And when I was pregnant, I also brought these all the way to Paris and I actually walked a lot in them. They are very, very comfortable too. So definitely check them out if you enjoy boots. Now for the favorite part of my wardrobe, my bag collection. For me, bags are the perfect accessory to amp up any outfit. When I first started my collection, I would go for vintage Chanel or vintage Dior. And these two are actually probably from 1994, I would say. They are still in immaculate condition, as you can tell. The leather is pristine and the hardware is just super, super shiny still, which I'm very thankful for. It feels like I have a lot of black bags, but also over the years, I've reached out for more colors. We've got pastel green, you know, baby pink, baby blue, and also this beautiful Louis Vuitton capucines in my favorite Tiffany blue. I have some of Chanel's micro bags right here, paired with their beautiful caviar leather, lambskin leather, and also vintage. We have a little micro vanity bag from Dior and Fendi. Here are some of my Louis Vuitton monogram bags. I love the canvas material. This is a little pouch that I actually got personalized but have never actually used. And obviously I love the beautiful and timeless Petit Mal. This is definitely one of my favorites along with their camera box bag. Duffel, always a classic, and my first Louis Vuitton speedy bag. Here on this side, we have a little bit of my Gucci love. This is the gorgeous little mini Jackie that is so cute, as well as their iconic bamboo bag, of course. I am in love with Dior Oblique. Here is the modern day version that I got in Paris maybe two years ago, and here is my vintage saddle. These are the same bags, just decades apart. I also love my Fendi. How cute is this little bag that I take for lunches or errands on the go? And Valentino is such a classic. I bring this to a lot of weddings and galas and the little bejeweled detail is so extraordinary. Above, I have my Chanel 19 that I was obsessed with back in 2019. I brought it for a lot of my winter travels. It's so easy to just stuff it in and super versatile. And my Chanel vintage jumbo bag that I've never actually brought out yet. And the most highly requested here is my favorite Hermes collection. And this is actually the bag that started it all. 
This is the first Hermes bag that I got that kickstarted my addiction. I actually got this beautiful Birkin on my first ever Paris trip with my mom. And I remember specifically asking for orange to commemorate my first ever purchase from the Maison. I subsequently brought it along for many of my travels and it held up really, really well. And that's why I knew that this bag is absolutely and perfectly crafted. What I really love about Hermes is that they have beautiful colors. Most of them are seasonal. So this is a gorgeous rose pourpourri that I gifted myself for one of my birthdays. And as you know, if you follow me on IG, this is my favorite bird comics green in a mini Kelly. We also have gold on gold, which is such a timeless combination and also i recently unboxed this gorgeous bird dough in gold hardware and the beautiful baton with a touch of alligator this is a constance to go in bird jade with a touch of lizard and i use this a lot when i'm with ava so let me now grab a chair to explain the top so here we are a little stool okay so for the top shelf here we've got some of my constance babies this is to be paired with a kelly belt and isn't it just so chic if you wear it on the waist to cinch it and also this is in nata color and here we have itu i also have this beautiful attain kelly 32 that i've used for a lot of my travels finland iceland you name it and obviously my favorite bag is miss moraletti that I've spoken about and unboxed before in another video. I love that it's very special because it is the first time we had ever heard of a Moraletti crocodile as indicated by these three dot stamps. I will show you the difference and hey, excuse me, can you pass me my bag, please? Thank you. So here is Miss Bird Rosso in shiny crocodile as well, but this is in fact a Moraletti crocodile and this is a Nymoticus crocodile. So the three dot stamps will indicate that and the two dot respectively. You can already tell the difference. One has very flat scales that make it look more shiny than the Nilo version. But anyway, how beautiful are these two bags? This one will always hold a very special place in my heart because I was offered after I had given birth. So it's very, very special to me. I guess that's all for bags and let's move on to clothes. I am such an outerwear person. I love collecting my jackets. I love neutrals and a lot of textures. So I guess the most iconic jacket that I probably have right now is my Louis Vuitton coats. These are so beautiful and I'm obsessed with collecting them in most colorways, I have to admit. Also, this is something that I'm very excited to bring for my next Paris Fashion Week in winter. How beautiful is the monogram that sits perfectly on the fur. We also have Fendi puffers for skiing, Montclair, this gorgeous Max Mara coat that I am in love with. It's so good for the snow and just collected this Hermes jacket yesterday. I'll just show it to you anyway. So I've never really been a fan of zips. I think this is my first ever zip jacket. It's very classic and beautiful, and my husband actually encouraged me to buy it. He usually doesn't, so I think that says something. It's got a Kelly zip detail, and it's just a very classic and timeless silhouette that I think I'm gonna be wearing for many, many seasons. And here we are, <laughs> more jackets. I'm pretty obsessive when it comes to my outerwear. Like, I love this beautiful, it's actually tweed, I think, Balmain piece. I really love a classic Chanel jacket. I will show you guys. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's actually vintage. And can you see the beautiful Chanel logo on these gorgeous buttons that have so much detail? It is an old piece, I think, from Carl's era, and it still looks so beautifully taken care of. I am, of course, going to be gifting this to my daughter. This is also a very classic wool piece, you know, that is very great for winter and for layering. I also love Saint Laurent. This is one of my iconic YSL pieces. It's so gorgeous and it makes such a big statement. Of course, Fendi 
and I also collect a lot of Gucci ready to wear, especially this gorgeous cape. Isn't it just so amazing? And you can easily pair it with a turtleneck in camel, white or black, super versatile. These are some of my beautiful Gucci pieces. I've not worn this coat yet, but I will soon. We have a Dior hoodie, another Balmain piece that is very gorgeous with these oversized buttons. And also I wanted to show you guys, love my blazers. You can tell lots of colors here. Um, this is a very beautiful tailored Burberry blazer that I ought to bring out soon. On this side of the wardrobe, we have some of my trousers, but I'm not gonna go into them because it's a mess. But instead, I wanted to share with you my favorite Dior bar jacket. This is a very, very classic and iconic piece from the Maison. And it is just such a beautiful silhouette. It hugs the body in all the right places and can be easily paired with any kind of buttons like trousers or jeans or even a tulle skirt. So here are some of my tops. I won't talk about all of them, but I do love a good Zimmerman piece. Like look at this beautiful detail with the bead and these little flowers. I love collecting knitwear as well. This is one of my favorite Chanel sweaters. You can see the amazing details and there are even crystals on the iconic logo. Accessories are always a very important part of any outfit. Here I've got my favorite Pache Philip that I gifted myself for Ava's birth. Vacheron, Constanton, and Audemars Piguet. Jewelry is also another important part of accessorizing any outfit and I love my jewelry from Cartier, Tiffany, Hermes, and Van Cleef. And also this is my newest purchase that I got actually last week. I bought this from Bulgari and it is the Serpentine in white gold with diamonds. Such a classic, timeless and iconic piece and I will obviously eventually gift this to my daughter Ava. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this little closet tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will also be posting some updates about my new house project on my Instagram. So I will see you guys there. See you at the next video.